Titans owner Amy Adams Strunk today introduced the team's new general manager, Rand Carthon. As you compiled the list of general manager candidates to interview, what were some of the most important characteristics that you were looking for? Well, I think first, you know, you have to think we need to find the best evaluator. But, but you can be so technical, but there's so much more involved in being a great GM. And so there was going to be a lot of things, leadership, um, personality. Um, there's just a lot goes into being that guy that, that can collaborate with, with Frable. You know, mo most GMs pick their coach. And we have a you know special situation. We have a great coach, and you know that was going to be important to me. I had to find who I thought could really help this team get to the next step, but help this team by working very closely with Mike. And you didn't go for a search firm. You you did all this research yourself. You and the group together. Why was that so important? Well, I I think you know at the end of the day we we had over a hundred candidates that, you know, six weeks ago we were looking at. And we kind of got the list down to who we thought would, would be good choices. And we didn't need the help um, with a search firm identifying uh, candidates. What we did do is hire two consultants that helped us a lot. I mean, they gave us some great um, structure to, to go by during these interviews. like. We had set questions for all of these seven candidates that we wanted, you know, they would get sub questions out of it or sub answers. They'd be, you know, talking, we'd kind of move along, but we always tried to go back. So at the end of the day, we were always comparing apples to apples. Rand Carthon interviewed last Friday. What struck you about him in that initial interview? Well, um, um, immediately, you know, you could just see he was a people person. And he just, he has a magnetic, you saw it today, personality. I mean, he, he's got an ease about him. You feel comfortable. In fact, we were overlooking the, the practice fields um, before the interview. And I was like, oh, this whole wing is new. And it was a remodel for the old part. And he went, oh, just like HGTV. And I'm like, Yes, like HG, uh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to make you feel relaxed. Now you're, you know, because I guess somewhere you'd heard that I'd like to remodel things. So, but anyway, he just, he has a natural way of, of making you comfortable and, and you could just see it, that it would be a good fit with Mike Grable. Did you know last Friday he was the guy? No. Okay. I mean, I, I really knew right away, I want to learn more okay. about Rand. And so we had always thought we were gonna go through, you know, the second interview with a shortened list. And I, I knew pretty much right away, five minutes into the interview that, that I wanted to learn more about Rand. So, but he, you know, you, you heard a lot of good things today in the, in the presser and he, he just, you know, he, he wants to be that guy that helps bring a championship to, to Tennessee, but do it through collaboration. And, and I, I read somewhere that in my interview with Teresa, someone was like, well, she used that word like 20 times. <laughs> well, I heard it a lot today and it wasn't from me. So, you know, he believes it. And it's one thing to say, oh, I can collaborate. But what does that really mean to you? Anybody can say that I, I wanna be that collaborator, but you really got the sense that he really wanted to, to be that guy that can work all over this building. I mean, he's, he's just got that way about him. He's a good fit for our organization. Was there a moment in the second interview where you knew it was Rand Carthon? Well, we used the second interview to kind of really dig into the weeds, so to speak. And um, the time before the second interview, you know, we called, we, we, I was just Adolfo, call everyone you can possibly come up with. And, and Bert called John Lynch, and I, I, I'm sure you've heard that John um, had just glowing things to say about him, that you know, they brought him in as a you know, director of pro personnel, but they learned right away that th that was 
he's a lot more than just that. And I think he kind of indicated today that they would never, in San Francisco, they don't put people in boxes. You may have this title, but a good idea is a good idea. And I don't care who it's from or if, if you can go evaluate, you know, you know that kid or down in University of Florida or wherever, you know, they bring Rand to the rescue sort of thing. I mean, they just don't get stuck putting people in boxes, which I think is a really, you know, I've always admired the 49ers and I, I believe that. And Bert called John on Saturday when they were going to have a game, you know, and, and said, oh, now call me later, I know you're busy. And John called him right away and he was at the stadium because he wanted to talk about Rand. And, you know, that says a lot right there. And I called Jed York and he just had the most wonderful things. And he said, I mean, you just would never regret hiring Rand as your GM, ever. You've been doing this nearly eight years. I know, yeah. a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of significant moments in yes. that period of time. So for you, these moments are always emotional because this organization means so much to you. The people mean so much to you. For you overall, as you got to introduce Rand Carthon as the general manager today, from an emotional standpoint, what jumps out? Like yesterday, when everybody was in the lobby and, I mean, from the stadium to the ticket office to marketing, everybody was there and they were cheering because I think everybody recognized that we got a really special person um, coming to our organization. I think back eight years, I can't believe it's been eight years, I but uh, I think back and it's just, you know, we've come such a long way and I feel us all, you know, rowing together. We're, we're, we're a team, everybody's a team, and I just don't mean the football team. I mean everybody in the building pulls together. And yesterday was a perfect example of everybody in the building being excited, being, in, you know, inspired by Rand and ready for what's going to come in the future. What is your new GM's charge from the owner as he begins this job? Well, I, I got a text from him after, while well, he was still at the airport and he was just, he was so excited and he was just like, I just, I can't wait to get back and start working on that, that championship for you, Miss Amy. And you know, that, so if that's my mission to him, you know, I know there's going to be some difficult decisions that have to be made and, you know, maybe some change. We, you know, I, I know they're going to evaluate, so I'm going to let them, you know, have their time to do that. But I think, you know, we're just going to, like, be excited for the steps that come because I know down maybe next year, ne the year after, I'm not really sure, but I know we have a Lombardi trophy in our, in our future. I'm just, I'm very, very excited. Amy Adams-Strunk with us at TennesseeTitans.com.